The Sava HD is a high quality mattress that considers plus size sleepers throughout the entire design. The thicker 12.5 inch gauge steel coils, higher density foams, and thicker comfort layer all contribute to the exceptional quality and performance of this HD mattress. Across the board, the Sava HD excelled in our performance tests. In five out of our eight testing categories, including response time, edge support, sex, pressure relief, and off-gassing, the HD received perfect 10 out of 10 scores. Its cooling score was a 9.5 and its company score a 9.8. The only area where it struggled was motion transfer with an 8.4. This gave the Sava HD an overall performance score of 9.71 out of 10. Sava HD has a slightly firm feel with a firmness of 7 out of 10, where 10 is the most firm. For heavier sleepers, this is firm enough to be supportive while still allowing for a certain degree of contour and hug. Next, we're going to talk through what the Sava HD does best. First and foremost, this mattress is designed for supporting heavier weight sleepers. It provides excellent support for those 300 to 500 pounds. More typical mattresses are usually able to support up to 300 pounds, but not beyond that. Second, the pressure relief on this mattress is fantastic. Both its comfort layer and overall profile height are well above average thickness to provide amazing relief. Third, we saw exceptional edge support performance during our test for both lying and sitting. Its objective sitting support measurement is tied for the fifth best we've seen to date. However, all mattresses aren't ideal for all sleepers. Let's talk through the important consideration points for the Sava HD. First, we saw higher levels of motion transfer. However, this is a natural side effect of the more supportive plus size design. Second, its price is more expensive than the average hybrid for plus size sleepers. Sava utilized a number of high performance material layers which yield great performance and durability, but also raise the price. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress, the right body types, and sleeping positions. The Sava HD has exceptionally good support. During our test, I felt fully supported in all sleeping positions. The mattress is designed for heavier weighted bodies in the 300 to 500 pound range. From top to bottom, the mattress has the right design and material choices to create perfect support for even the heaviest weighted sleepers. With 15 and a half inches of total mattress profile height and a seven and a half inch comfort layer, zone support latex, a zone coil unit, and a 12 and a half inch gauge coil, the mattress checks all of my boxes and then some. The mattress is able to create truly extraordinary support for heavier weighted bodies. The only weak spot is going to be for couples of varying weights who want to sleep on this mattress. While the mattress is designed for sleepers in the 300 500 pound range, I think any sleeper over 200 pounds could find the Sava HD supportive and comfortable. However, side sleepers below 200 pounds should use caution. There is such a high level of support that lighter and moderate weighted side sleepers may find it creates improper spinal alignment. Even so, lighter and moderate weighted back or stomach sleepers should find it perfectly acceptable. Be sure to visit us over at naplab.com slash mattress dash quiz. There you can submit your needs and preferences and we'll send you back a personalized recommendation based on your inputs. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to 10 different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then we get off the mattress and take periodic measurements of the surface level temperature. Our tests show how the mattress retains and releases heat and overall coolant performance. Mattresses that breathe better, retain less heat, and sleep cooler are better as they allow sleepers to maintain a comfortable temperature. Cooling performance on the Sava HD is excellent. During our test, I felt no significant level of heat retention around my body. The hybrid design helps to create good airflow for the mattress, improving cooling. Its 7.5 inch comfort layer provides exceptional support and pressure relief. However, a super thick comfort layer does also limit cooling performance, keeping it from reaching the exceptional cooling level. Looking at our objective data, we measured a max surface level temperature of 91.9 .9 degrees Fahrenheit. After we got off the mattress, the temperature dropped by 4.2 degrees Fahrenheit from minutes 0 to 1, which is 0.4 degrees better than the average. From minutes 0 to 5, the decline was 8.1 degrees, which is 1.1 degrees better than average. When we consider the objective data, subjective experience, and material analysis, alongside the design and tension optimized for heavier weighted bodies, I'm pleased with this level of coolant performance. I expect most sleepers will find the level of cooling to be perfectly good. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12-pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. 
Deeper sinkage can cause sleepers to feel overly enveloped by the material layers, while less sinkage can make you feel that you're sleeping more on top of the mattress as opposed to in it. Sinkage is a preferential factor. Some prefer more, others less. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 1.77 inches. This is considered a minimal level of sinkage and is 0.42 inches less than the average of 2.19 inches. I wouldn't call this a floating on top of the mattress feel, but it certainly leans more in that direction compared to mattresses that allow sleepers to sink down in the mattress. The contouring hug is extremely restrained and generalized around the body. The Sava HD did create more body contouring around the heavier portions of my body, in particular my midsection. Given that I'm fairly lightweight at 140 pounds, I am far from the ideal body type for this mattress. More moderate and heavier weighted bodies will create a more appropriate level of engagement with the materials, creating a more balanced level of sinkage and overall body contouring hug. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to objectively measure the motion generated by the medicine ball drop. Lower motion transfer is better as it helps sleeping partners avoid disturbing each other during the night. The Zava HD has a high level of motion transfer. In our test, we measured a total acceleration range of 11.34 meters per second squared. This is 3.35 meters per second squared, more motion than the average of 7.99. I was unsurprised by the higher level of motion. Many HD and plus size mattresses have more motion. The combination of the inner spring coil unit instead of pocketed coils, lower coil gauge, natural latex layer, denser foam layers, and slightly firm feel are all contributing to the higher motion. If we look at the motion transfer chart, which visualizes our accelerometer data, we can see the highest motion peaks from 0 to 0 0.14 seconds. Motion drops off significantly by 0 0.14 seconds, and by 1.13 seconds, we return to near zero levels. If there is a silver lining here, it's that the most significant motion peaks are very quick. The total motion duration is 1.13 seconds, but the level of motion after 0.21 seconds is quite low. Test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and objectively measure the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. A faster response time is better as quicker responding material layers better adapt to your changes in movement and prevent any type of a stuck feeling. The Sava HD has an extremely fast material response. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.2 seconds and a fully recovered response time of 0.6 seconds. This mostly recovered time is on par with the fastest mattresses we tested to date, while the fully recovered time lags a bit. Even so, it's still notably faster than the average of 0.9 seconds. Despite the use of multiple memory foam layers in the core of the mattress, the Sava HD still manages an overall highly responsive feel. Response ensures sleepers won't feel stuck, and it's easy to move around on the mattress. No major issues here. To run the balance test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce is a preferential factor. Some prefer more, others less. However, more bounce is typically better than less bounce as it improves ease of movement, aids in response time, and improves sex performance. The Zava HD has a very high level of bounce. In our test, we measured a total bounce height of 12.5 inches. This is 2.86 inches more bounce than the average of 9.64. The more supportive, denser, and high resiliency materials are creating higher levels of bounce. At 12.5 inches, the bounce is a little beyond my ideal range, but only slightly. While a more moderate to high level of bounce would be preferential, in this case, I don't believe it's a significant detriment. In order to deliver the appropriate support for heavier weighted bodies, the materials and design of the Sava HD need to be as they are. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Less sinkage while sitting and lying directly on the edge of the mattress is better as it creates a more supportive edge for sleeping, lounging, and amorous activities. The Sava HD has exceptionally good edge support for both sitting and lying. In our sitting edge support test, we measured a sitting sinkage level of 2.50 inches. This is 1.77 inches, less edge compression than the average of 4.27 inches. When it comes to sitting edge support, I like to see 4 inches or less. Needless to say, the Sava HD absolutely dominated this category. The Sava HD is tied for fifth for the most supportive edges among all mattresses we've tested to date. Lying edge support was equally as impressive. Even when lying at the absolute edge of the mattress, I felt fully supported in all sleeping positions. The support is as good at the edge as it is in the middle of the mattress. 
The total 15.5 inch profile height, higher density foams, lower coil gauge, and tall perimeter edge sport foam all work together to create incredibly robust and high performance edge support. Our sex test uses a weighted formula to assess sex performance. Higher bounce, more supportive edges are the most important factors, with noise, pressure relief, and cooling being lesser weighted inputs. Mattresses with more bounce and better edge support perform better for sex, as do mattresses that don't make as much noise and are more comfortable to lie on. For the Slava HD, these individual factors generated a perfect sex score of 10. In short, sex is as good as it gets on the side of a mattress. The high level of bounce combined with exceptional edge support makes up 80% of the score here. This mattress is active, engaging, firm enough, and keeps energy levels up. Furthermore, the mattress is quiet, has exceptional pressure relief, and great cooling. Overall, the dance without pants just does not get any better than this. Our pressure relief test is a measure of overall pressure relief performance. We analyze materials, layers, thicknesses, density, and design elements in conjunction with a subjective assessment of our experience while lying on the mattress. Mattresses with better pressure relief are able to create a more comfortable sleeping surface. Great pressure relief is created when a mattress uses good sport materials with a sufficiently thick comfort layer of high quality. Zava HD is 15.5 inches thick with a 7.5 inch thick comfort layer. Based on all of our tests to date, the average mattress height is 11.9 inches and the average comfort layer is 4.2 inches. In addition, the Slava HD uses a higher density memory and polyfoam at 5.0 PCF. That's pounds per cubic foot. Higher density foams last longer because there is simply more material within the given layer. Many brands use memory and polyfoams with a density of just 2 to 3.0 PCF. Not to mention the fact that we have a 7.5 inch foam comfort layer, with one inch of that being natural latex. Sometimes pressure relief issues can be created when support coils and or support foams are insufficient. Again, we have an ample 8-inch support layer that blends coils and foams. The zone latex layer, zone coil unit, and lower 12.5-inch gauge coil all work together to create incredible support alongside the thick comfort layer. Overall, I am exceedingly impressed with the pressure relief. While lighter weight sleepers may find the firmness and density materials to be a bit much for moderate and heavier weighted bodies that the Sava HD is designed for, it creates truly next-level pressure relief. To evaluate off-gassing, we assess the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measure of any strong smells. We model the mattress over a period of days until the mattress no longer has a strong odor. Mattresses with a less strong odor and or an odor that dissipates more quickly are better. Off-gassing on the Sava HD was non-existent. Sava HD ships uncompressed, which really eliminates any off-gassing issues. By the time the Sava HD arrived at our studio, it had zero significant smell. For sleepers who are more sensitive to strong smells, the Zava HD is a fantastic option. The company's score takes a look at factors that may influence your experience with the mattress. Factors include length of the trial period, warranty, shipping costs, return costs, and country of origin. For Sattva, these individual terms and conditions generated a company score of 9.8. Sattva comes with a long 365-night trial period and a lifetime warranty. Shipping is free, and if the mattress doesn't end up working out, you can return it for $99. I would recommend the Sava HD for sleepers who are looking for a mattress that can support heavier weighted sleepers. It's not only supportive, but it has exceptional pressure relief. It has an incredibly thick comfort layer at 7.5 inches with an overall profile height of 15.5 inches. The mattress has a balanced feel ideal to meet the needs of heavier weighted sleepers. Edge support was also exceptionally good and bounce was high. Both of these make for fantastic sex performance. While you do pay a steeper price for it, if you're looking for a mattress that has incredible material quality designed to the specific needs of heavier weighted bodies, this is it. The Zava HD is arguably the best HD mattress on the market. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope that it helpful. Comments and questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Zava HD, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and visit our naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.